how to do kid styling at home and I'm gonna walk you through a fishtail today. So a fishtail braid can sometimes seem really intricate but actually it can be pretty easy um, when you kind of know the pattern. So uh, I am gonna start on LaRue's hair and the thing that I've uh, said in the past is just that depending on the texture of hair you're working on, you have to kind of figure out what's the easiest way for you to control the strands of hair. So for her, we're starting on freshly shampooed hair. And one thing I haven't talked about in the past is, you know, different types of shampoos. So I'm lucky enough to work for Aveda and we have a lot of great shampoos, but my two favorite in the Aveda line are Champure and Rosemary Mint. And the main thing is, is it really cleanses the hair for her hair type. And LaRue, because her hair is so straight, she doesn't have to worry about getting hydration all the way through the ends. So Rosemary Mint and Champure are great because it gets her, health, her scalp clean and takes care from that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring, um, I'm going to turn her hair, her head, and I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. So uh, what I did prepping wise is, these are two different types of fishtails. So they're both on the scalp, but this fishtail is a reverse fishtail, so it just means that I went underneath, and then this one is going your classic over the top. So it really depends if you wanna see it. This is sort of the advanced braid. This takes a minute even for hairdressers to learn, and this is kind of where we're gonna start. So um, what I did use today, is I'm using Aveda's uh, Volume Tonic. So it's just, this is what this looks like. And uh, because her hair is freshly clean, I'm gonna spray this on just to give a little bit of grip but to help, my, help it clump together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here. So when I start teaching someone how to go about braiding, I start by saying, you know, put it in a ponytail and let's just start with it not having to where you're gathering hair. So we're gonna start right in through here and this is going to be, uh, to go ahead and bend your head for me. Sorry, you know, neck hairs are the hardest thing to not grab. So you have two strands here, and all you're going to take is a piece from the underneath and bring it over the top. So you're gonna keep the two strands. This is coming from the underneath, and this is just crossing over. So here's this underneath, cross over, underneath, and then cross over. And the idea is, is if you just do this in a ponytail, then you don't necessarily have to worry about the gathering part. That, usually gathering hair is what stresses anybody out, and that is, you know, where you wanna start by knowing the pattern first before you start to gather. So even if you only got this far and you did two pigtails and did these fishtail braids, that would be like a success in my book. So you're coming over this part, bringing this in, and as soon as that pattern really starts to show, this gets easier. The thicker the sections, the more it starts to look like a braid. The skinnier the sections, the more intricate it is and it takes a little bit more time. So we're gonna start by, so that's our first one. Bringing this in. Okay, so that's gonna lay over this way. So, okay, do that. okay, so we're gonna start on an on the scalp fishtail braid. So I'm gonna bring this through here down. So again, to help give some grip, I'm gonna use Volume Tonic. So Aveda's Volume Tonic, it's very lightweight and it just has a little bit of grip to it. So now what we're gonna do is, Larue's gonna tilt back to me. Just, this is gonna be a little bit more uncomfortable for her because of this video. And then um, all I'm gonna do here, scoop back right there, yep. Okay, so two sections, I'm gonna split it into two and I'm going to create three of these fishtail braids before I start to gather. So here's one, so there's no gathering happening. I'm gonna show you the second one. So I'm taking from the underneath, let me tilt back. And then I'm gonna do one more. So you can start to see that pattern happening through here. So here's another one. So from the underneath, bringing this over the top. And now we're gonna gather. So when I go to initially gather, I put my pointer finger over this section and then I just bring it across. So now I'm gonna take this section here and bring this through. So once I do that, then I'm gonna use a little bit of the bottom and I'm gonna show this one more time. So when I go to gather, the first thing I do is I take from this underneath here. Lean back for me this underneath section here, I bring it over the top, then I take this section and I gather. So bringing this in here, and now we're gonna continue going through. So a little bit on the underneath. Okay, there, right there's perfect. 
and then making sure this is coming from the underneath. Okay, so what we're doing now, just as a repeat, we're starting to create a fishtail where we're gathering on the scalp. So as I'm doing this in this section, I'm taking a little bit from the underneath. I'm using almost my entire hand to hold this section through here. Go ahead and bend your head for me. Okay, so if everyone can scoot up, Lord, come in this way. So this is, just so you can see my fingers, this part from here comes on the underneath, goes across, and then I gather in through here. So I'm gonna show this part. Coming through here. And the thing is, is if you take two biggest sections, it starts to look like a French braid. So you have to be careful of that and conscious of that as you're coming around but it does have a very distinct difference. So just bringing this over. And sometimes you have to catch it up. So bringing this in. Over the top. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, now I'm to the point where I don't have to gather anymore. And that's usually like where you know you're smooth sailing. So I'm just bringing this over through here, continuing this down, making sure I got all of this through. Yeah, we'll fix it. So a lot of times to keep LaRue where she's at, I'll have her, you know, play with a toy or like look down at something. So that's also helpful is if you can distract them, then they won't realize how long they're hanging out here. Okay. So once I get this all the way down, then I can go in and put in elastic. But this is a great braid because it loosens up throughout the day, so it starts turning into something even softer as it starts to loosen up. So in here, you can kind of see what these two braids look like. So now I'm gonna have her kind of turn around to the sides, but it's just two pigtails, but two fishtail on the scalp. So I hope that helps when you're looking at intricate braids because it's really about knowing the pattern. And as soon as you know the pattern, then you can always step it into something else. But I'll say that this is my dad's like go-to braid when he does, um, I have three other sisters. So whenever he would do our hair, this is something that he would do. So it's very, it's something that you can totally learn and um, you know, have your kid's hair get done and work on that. So cool, great view, thank you so much.